Hi traders, this is how you install the real-time correlation indicator on a demo account. This is where traders have requested the free demo for five days. Um, so you just simply complete this form, use the email address you want the demo to be sent to, click get the demo, and then you're good to go. The next thing that will happen is you'll receive a demo email, which looks like this. And there's an installation guide, a video installation guide, and a frequently asked questions link so check those out but the installer link is the one you're interested in so click on the installer link and it will download a package which is a zip file so make sure you've got a zip utility installed on your machine I'd recommend 7-zip which is free if you don't have one already installed so Google 7-zip so when you actually open this zip file up and unpack it you'll get an application called FXA real-time correlation setup JFX so when you double click this, it'll ask you whether you want to run the system. And so click run and you may well get a UAC user account control warning saying, are you sure you want to run this? Click yes. And the installer screen will pop up next. So click next, read through the license agreement, make sure you're happy with that. Click I accept the agreement, click next. And the next bit is really important. So go to your MT4 account you want to install it so open MT4 now click file open data folder and then this is the address of the MT4 data folder up here so right click in this bar and click copy addresses text now close that down and close MT4 down too and simply go into here make sure it's empty right click in here and click paste now click next and click install it may ask you are you sure you want to install in this folder if you haven't before as it already exists if you do get a warning say yes now click finish and that's the installation completed so now let's reopen MT4 and let's load a chart and I'm just going to tidy this chart up so I make it a line graph right click in the chart select properties and go to the line graph uh, option in colors and select line graph none. That will remove all the, the uh, price data on this chart and remove the grid as well. Now go down to your indicators. If you can't see your indicators, just press Control and N, which will load up the navigator. Open the indicators tab and find the file called FXA Real Time Correlation JFX and then drag it onto your chart. Go to the common tab and make sure allow DLL imports is selected. If your broker is using a suffix, so in this case underscore SB, you have an option to use that. Um, but I'll talk through that in a second. So I'm going to put in underscore SB in here. And I click OK now. And now we're seeing a warning saying there's the interface isn't loaded. We need to obviously load the interface to be able to control the data on the chart. So to load the interface, click Open Data Folder, File, Open Data Folder. Go down to FXA JFX Interface. Now make sure you've got Java loaded, because if you don't have Java loaded, nothing's going to happen here. So to, if you want to check, go to Start, Control Panel, and see if you've got a Java logo in Control Panel here. And I have, so that's fine, I've got Java loaded. If you don't have Java installed on your machine, go to Google and type in Java J-R-E, which means Java Runtime Environment. And you'll see here Java SE Runtime Environment 8. Click that link. And then, depending on which operating system you're using, so if you if you have a 64-bit operating system, install Windows 64, uh, X64, either offline or online. If you're running a 32-bit operating system, uh, install Windows X86. If you don't know what sort of operating system you've got, Go to Start, Computer, right click in Computer and go to Properties. And then look at the system type in here and you'll see I'm running a 64-bit operating system so I need to install an x64 version. I can install the 32-bit the version, the x86 version if I want to. If you're running a 32-bit machine, don't try and install the 64-bit operating system. It's not a good idea. So that's your Java bit done. So when you double click the interface, you'll see a login screen. So enter the email address that you use to register the trial. Trial 
Apple login. And it's first thing it's going to tell us is no accounts have been set up yet because we need to tell the interface where where the MT4 data folder is and it's it's defaulting to where we installed it which is perfect so we go OK and we, we know that that's our MT4 data folder because we just we used that originally to install the system done and now the product catalog pops up and go to analysis tools or analytical tools select RT correlation and this is our real-time correlation control interface move that where you want it I'm only using a 15 inch monitor here so this is quite a, a small space but you can resize this window where you want it to be and you can obviously scroll through the controls accordingly now click on your chart and just change the time frame now and you'll see all this data is now popped back up and we can now control what we're seeing so if we want to remove, reduce the number of pairs that we're monitoring just just delete some so I'm just removing some of these pairs here and I'm just going to track 10 currency pairs to start with you can see in a second you'll see the actual display reflecting our changes we can control colors and all that kind of stuff text size if we want to so I'm just increasing the text size accordingly and I can obviously track uh, assets which aren't necessarily uh, FX so if I want to look at say things like um, commodities I can do however on this particular account if I go view market watch you'll notice that let's just make this a little bit bigger the forex bears are using an underscore SB suffix whereas the indices and commodities are just using an SB suffix which is, a, which is a bit of a problem for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my indicator list. I'm going to remove the suffix and then click OK. And now we're going to get not applicable on all of our correlation data here. But that's because it's expecting a suffix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the SB suffix in underscore SB for the forex pellet in here. So just paste that in. And you'll see the correlation data beginning to be reflected as I paste those in. And now I want to see how oil or something, something like oil or another commodity is correlated against these. And I know that oil is using WTI SB, so I'm just going to type in WTI SB, make sure it's actually correct case wise, it's important. So WTI SB, and now you'll see. We've got oil correlation data up here, but we've also got a clash. So all of this data is getting a bit kind of pressed against each other. So let's go to our text size and we'll increase that to say 10, which is still not making things any better. So I'm going to use a custom spacer function in here and I'm going to use something like 100. And now that's spread everything out properly for us. So if we look at this on a slightly larger chart window, we can see everything now being displayed in a non-overlapping uh, way. So that's how we, we configure the system. There's loads of color controls and all that sort of stuff. So you can control your positive and negative thresholds, title colors, uh, asset colors, 100% colors, and all that kind of good stuff. So you can play around to your heart's content and get it exactly how you want it. Um, we've also got options to only show positively correlated assets. So if I select that, you'll see that in fact, we haven't got any um, positively correlated assets over 80 on this time frame on H1. So if I reduce the threshold for positive correlation, I'll reduce that to say, uh, let's say 70. See what percentage is coming up at 70? Yes, we have. So we've got a few pairs here which have a high correlation on the hourly time frame at 73 or some above 70, basically. In the same way, I can show negatively correlated assets, and we've got only a few here. So euro dollar and US dollar Swiss franc virtually almost were well, highly negatively correlated at minus 94 and so on so you can play around uh, and, and configure the system how you want and you should be good to go I'm just clicking it back to show all and now it's basically giving us the whole uh, range of correlation data across these 10 forex pairs or whatever, 10 forex pairs and also 
the 11th pair, which is the West Texas Intermediate Oil Commodity. So that is how you install the system. Bear in mind also that if you go to other charts, it'll go to a default setup. So this system is time frame dependent. So you can, if you wanted to on, say for example, H4, if you wanted to have just a, a set of commodities displayed there, you could, you just configure those accordingly. And so you may want to have oil and gold and, and silver, um, different types of oil complex, etc. So you've got a whole range of things that you can do and you just configure accordingly. So remember that the system is, is very much time frame dependent. And the beautiful thing about that is it means you can have a whole range of correlation data uh, for different asset classes which are specific to the chart time frame, which is unique within this range of products. So that's how you configure the system. If you have any problems, please don't hesitate to give me, uh, send me an email, info at fxalgotrader.com. Thanks for watching.